In this video, I will discuss the complex multiplications and additions required for computing endpoint DFT using direct method and using FFT algorithm. We know that complex multiplications and complex additions plays an important role in direct method as well as in FFT algorithm. So now before doing exact comparison, I will take one example so that we can understand better. We will assume that n is equal to 8 in direct method the DFT is computed using this formula that is x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n power n k where k is less than or equal to n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. We, so here we have assumed n is equal to 8. It, it means that x of n consists of 8 samples. Those are x of 0 to x of 7. Expand this summation. For n equal to 0, it will be x of 0 w n power n k. For n equal to 0, it will be 0 into k. That is 0 itself. w n power 0 plus for n equal to 1, it will be x of 1 w n power k for n equal to 2 it will be x of 2 w n power 2 k plus x of 3 w n power 3 k plus x of 4 w n power 4 k plus x of 5 w n power 5 k plus x of 6 w n power 6 k plus x of 7 w n power 7 k. So now here we can see that <coughs> here x of 0 is multiplied with a twiddle factor. This is here we need one multiplication operation. Similarly x of 1 is multiplied with w n power k. Here we need one more multiplication that is this is first multiplication, second multiplication. Here we can see third multiplication here we have fourth fifth this is six this is seven and here it is eight so as we know here k varies from zero to seven so for each value of k it involves eight complex multiplications here i can write complex multiplications required for each k value is equal to 8. Similarly, here we can see that complex addition, here there is one addition, this is 1 and here we have second addition, here we have third addition, here we have fourth addition. 6 and 7. For n equal to 8, we need 7 complex addition. So here I can say complex addition required for each k value is 7. So therefore now I can write total complex multiplications will be equal to so k varies from 0 to 7 as n equal to 8 so there are total values of k is 8 that is 8 into in each stage we need 8 multiplications so for n equal to 8 we need total complex multiplication is 64 similarly the total complex additions So we have k equal to 8 into we need in each stage or for each value of k we need 7 additions. So this is 7 which will be 56. Now in general complex multiplication required for each k value will be n and complex additions required for each value of k will be n minus 1. Similarly total complex multiplications required will be n square that is 8 square is 64 
Similarly, total complex additions required in direct method is n times n minus 1. Here we can say 7 into 8 is equal to 56. That is n into n minus 1. In direct method of computing d of t, we need total complex multiplications is n square and total complex addition is n into n minus 1. Now I will compare this with FFT algorithm. So now I will consider FFT algorithm for DFT computation. As we know in the FFT algorithm, the butterfly diagram plays very important role. Here I will draw one butterfly diagram. So this is the butterfly diagram. Already we have studied this. Let A is input, P is input for butterfly and I will assume capital A is output and capital B is output. As we know this is 1, this will be 1, this will be minus 1 and here there will be a total factor value for n point D of t this will be n. And as we know, R varies from stage to stage. Here in this case, I can represent the output expression A as A is equal to A plus this B W n power R. Similarly, B is equal to A minus B W n power R. So now here we can observe that for one butterfly, here b is multiplied with wn power r here also b is multiplied with wn power r so here we need one multiplication and here we have a plus and here we have a minus that is we need one addition operation and we need one subtraction operation. So, but complexity required for addition and subtraction both are same. So, we will assume it as these two are as like a addition operation. So, for each butterfly diagram, we need one multiplication and we need two additions. This is with respect to each butterfly that we suppose to use in FFT algorithm. So, so here this is a DIT FFT algorithm for n is equal to 8. So for understanding purpose I am taking n is equal to 8. Here we can see that when n is equal to 8 we have three stages. This is first stage, this is second stage and this is third stage. That is for n equal to 8. number of stages is equal to 3. Likewise, if we consider n point d of t, we need log n to the base to number of stages. This is for considering n point d of t. This is for considering n is equal to 8, that is 8 point d of t. Likewise, here we can see that in first stage, there are 4 butterfly diagrams. In the second stage, we have four butterfly diagrams. In third stage, we have four butterfly diagrams. That is, now I can say number of butterfly in eight point TIT FFT is equal to we have three stages into in each stage we have 4 butterflies that is 3 into 4 which is equal to 12. Likewise, if we consider n point d of t, then we need there are 3 stages. 3 stages is nothing but log n to the base 2 into there are 4 butterflies. For n equal to 8, we have 4 butterflies. So, if we consider n point d of t, we, we need half of that that is n by 2. n by 2. So, therefore, the total number of butterflies for n point d of t is n by 2 into log n to the base 2. Now we will see how many 
complex additions and multiplications are required for 8.8 TF50 algorithm. So here we can see that in for each butterfly we need one multiplication. So here we have 12 butterflies. So we need 12 complex multiplications. Number of complex multiplications is equal to 12. So in general for n point DFT the number of complex multiplications required is same that is n by 2 into log n to the base 2. Similarly the number of complex additions is equal to as here we can see the number of complex additions required for each butterfly is 2. So here we have 12 butterflies so we need 12 into 2 that is total 24 complex additions. So in general for n point DFT we need twice of this that is 2 into n by 2 log n to the base 2 which is nothing but n log n to the base 2. That in DITF50 algorithm the number of multiplications required for n point DFT is n by 2 log n to the base 2 and complex additions required is n log n to the base 2. Now I will compare the number of complex multiplications and complex additions required for different values of n in case of direct computation and using FFT algorithm. This table shows the comparison between number of complex multiplications and complex additions required in direct method and same thing required in FFT algorithm. The number of points of DFT is n, number of stages is log n to the base 2. This formula we supposed to use. Number of complex multiplications required in direct method is n square. Number of complex additions required in direct method is n in bracket n minus 1. Number of complex multiplications in FFT algorithm required is n by 2 log n to the base 2. Similarly, complex additions is n log n to the base 2. Thank you for watching.